April 1963, the USS Thresher left the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard for routine deep dive tests 200 miles off the Cape. 129 men aboard planning to be home for Easter. But on April 10th, all were lost in the worst nuclear submarine disaster in U.S. history. You know, the original theory was that there was you know, faulty piping that caused the uh, reactor to shut down, which lost power, which caused it to sink and then implode. But there, there are other theories out there, too. Last summer, a retired Navy captain and submarine commander sued the Navy for release of unclassified Thresher documents. Now, a federal judge has ordered the Navy to start releasing them by mid-May. When you finally see all of the documents, I think that will fill in the rest of the story. Ken Latchaw served aboard the USS Albacore from 1968 through 1970. The Albacore, now part of a museum in Portsmouth, had to test and perfect a system called SubSafe after the Thresher sank and before any subconstruction could continue. And the Albacore tested that system, which meant blowing all the main ballast tanks simultaneously without any delay in time whatsoever. And that would save precious seconds when s trying to surface. Safety lessons one of the legacies of the Thresher. 57 years later, hope is these unclassified documents might provide more. At the very least, you know, this might help provide answers for, you know, surviving family members. In Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.